Health professionals have an important role in supporting people through the process of advanced care planning. It should be introduced early as part of ongoing routine care rather than at the point of or following health decline. Look for opportunities to discuss ACP often, especially during changes in condition or care. Use the think, talk, write and share model as a guide for these discussions. Ask the person about their health, family history and future healthcare concerns. And be prepared to provide advice about treatment decisions and potential outcomes. Remember to summarise the main points. Encourage the individual to talk with others they trust and seek further advice as you finish the discussion. It is important to be familiar with the range of advanced care planning documents. Some are statutory, such as the Advanced Health Directive, used to record medical treatment decisions, and the Enduring Power of Guardianship, used to legally appoint someone to make decisions on a person's behalf. Other documents are non-statutory, such as the Values and Preferences form. Whatever document or documents a person decides to use, storing them so they are accessible is hugely important. Ensure a copy is placed in the person's file. Encourage and assist them if necessary to upload it to My Health Record. Encourage people to keep the original in a safe place and share copies with those they trust. Advanced care planning documents should be reviewed every two years or when there are major changes to a person's health. To find out more about advanced care planning or to order free resources, contact the WA Department of Health Information line on 08 922 2300 or visit health.wa.gov.au forward slash ACP.